Maurice, but thank you so much for coming today, and, and we're going to talk about all kinds of things that you like to make and show and, and share some tips so that we can all do this. And you even have a blog, don't you? Yeah, it's blog.modernsurrealist.com. Modernsurrealist.com. Mm -hmm. okay. And I also have a website www.modernsurrealist.com So if we really get somebody interested in doing some of this, they can find more patterns, more instruction. Oh yeah, lots of projects. Lots of ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's start by talking about what do we do with juice bottles, because some places you can't even recycle them. Some places, of course, you can. Yeah, um, well, I was just thinking of a cheap and easy way to make something out of a juice bottle to recycle, because if you recycle it yourself, you even save more energy. Mm -hmm. So, I just cut the top part off of this You just use bottle. regular scissors, or do you have a little yes. serrated knife? I just, I, I start with a knife, and then I cut scissors, and you'll find that it's easiest if you cut this way, oh. not this way. Oh. You'll see, it works easier okay. <laughs> doing it like that. <laughs> so, we cut this approximately in half, and we can see why, because this is... This is the example. And what I like is that besides being a vase, which I think I would have even thought of, I hadn't thought about using these as little gift baskets. Yeah, that saves you a lot of money, too, because these paper gift baskets, mm -hmm. they're usually not recycled, they're expensive, you have to get one that coordinates, but mm -hmm. usually you can find this in your home Anywhere. anyway, <laughs> and it costs you almost nothing if you just have some beads and the wire. Beads you, you made, these are made on wire, right? Yeah, you just... Uh -huh. Poke holes with a hole puncher, uh -huh. four little holes, and then run your wire through and put your beads on and finish it off, and you've got a wonderful gift basket. And what's fun is you could change this tissue paper because since it's a clear bottle, you can go with any color you want. Yeah, right you idea. can coordinate to the theme, uh -huh. you know, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Another idea, this one just happens to have different colored beads, so it gives an idea of a different way to use it. Yeah, I know what this is. It's a strawberry container, right? That's <laughs> even easier, yeah, because you don't have to punch the holes. No, so mm -hmm. you just put the, the little handles on top of that. Yeah, and I made this one a little more ethnic theme, so, you know, you can make it to kind of coordinate with the person's personality that you're giving it to or your well, decor. And wouldn't these be fun for, like, Boy Scout groups or Girl Scout groups or yeah. 4 -H? This would be. A, these could all be fun projects. It's a great project for kids. I think kids it would be. It's really easy to now, do. what kind of bottle was this? That was a kefir yogurt bottle. Yogurt. And uh, this is another technique you can do. If you have a flexible bottle, you can cut it into strips and oh, then uh -huh. bend the strips to make something a little more sculptural. Mm -hmm. uh, same container? It's the same oh. bottle. You can do different things with it, um, adjust the handle size and... There's a lot you can do with this idea. And this little thing would be a great little favor for tables to put nuts or mints or candy in. Would be it? perfect, yeah, uh -huh. for like a birthday party. Children could make their own favor. I do things like that where we do a party and we make recycled crafts and kids get to Good take idea. the stuff home. And we save the example of the clear bottle, uh, putting water in it, handles, and putting fresh flowers in it. That's a great gift all in one. Mm -hmm. These are good. Okay, now we go to the orange juice container. I hadn't thought, I'd thought about using this before, but I hadn't thought about an orange juice container. Yeah, this just came to me. I was looking at this thinking, oh, I wonder what would happen if I cut this and bent it and, and tried <laughs> to make something recycled out of it. So this is what I did. How do you start? Oh, what you do is you, you take two of these containers and... If you lay one on its side and one like this, you can mark the size because you want to be at a square. Oh, so okay. you mark how Four high it is. Yeah, there. it has to be the same. So you're going to take this distance, mark here, mm -hmm. and do the same on the opposing corner, and then cut with scissors right down to where you were. First you cut off the top, then you cut right down to, I think it's the midway point. Uh -huh. And then on one side you're going to cut in a lower formation like this. You're left with something like this. Oh, you and folded then, that. I see yeah. how you got that shape. I you just how. cut the uh -huh. low one, and then you cut the round one by eye, and then you just bend it so you're a little person. You know, it's kind of like origami a little, and then you just put a little piece of... Oh, uh, this is some Velcro. Yeah, mm -hmm. little Velcro dot. And this one I did... I wanted to do something really, really recycled, so I even did a recycled handle by braiding plastic bags. 
Wow. Is that very hard? No, it's no. really <laughs> easy. And then you just tie a knot on the inside and run it through. And then I experimented with a little weaving. Mm -hmm. And so the only thing on this that's nice. not recycled is the button. And the, of course, if you're like me, I say button. You could so recycle you could, the button. That one is new, I'll mm -hmm. admit. But yeah, then it would just be Velcro. Yeah. You could do this 100% recycled. And these are all made just from different types of juice containers, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and so you can make big ones, little ones, medium-sized ones? Yeah, you can coordinate it to the personality. This one's kind of girly. And this is a little one. It'd be great for a little Ooh. girl. Uh -huh. Okay, and I wanted to show these. Uh, you, you even made use of leftover tuna cans. Yeah, yeah. I don't like to throw things away, and uh, I don't like to spend a lot of money on my craft, so uh -huh. use so it. So I clean it out, and mm -hmm. then you made a little vignette. Yeah, just create a little scene using some floral moss and whatever little trinkets you have. Mm -hmm. A lot of the things that I make, you, you use things that normally you'd have around the house anyway. So Well, and crafters and seamstresses never throw anything away, so yeah. it's a good way to, to reuse all of those things. Mm -hmm. Well, these are cute ideas, and, and again, if somebody's looking for youth project groups, I think these would be great. They're great for that. They're great for birthday parties and last-minute gifts. And saving the environment, we hope. <laughs> Along with that, yeah. You bet. Thank you very much, Marisa. Thank you for having me.